Okay, so, uh, after, like, what, like, three months or something since the last session, uh, we're finally back to returns. Um, yeah, we kind of got, um, gotten a bit off a hiatus for this one. I don't think it's gonna matter to anyone watching because these part- the first few parts haven't actually gone up yet. Um, so... Probably won't be in hi actual hiatus for people watching, but yeah, it's been a while. Um, and as you can see, um, I did do all the time trials, <laughs> as you saw through the montages. Um, I think it was this level that gave me like the most trouble, like... Canopy Cannons, I believe it was. That level can just kiss my ass, because the, um, the uh, gold medal requirement for that stage is like stupidly strict for that early in the game and if you're not I swear if you're not like pixel perfect you don't get the you don't get the gold medal and even on my successful run I just barely got it and I can't even imagine how you even get the shiny gold medal I'm gonna try to uh oh god I'm gonna try to uh go for uh, at least silver medals because uh Getting golds in a lot of the levels in World 2 were just almost seemed impossible and I don't want to kill myself trying to go for those so I'm just gonna at least go for silver and I'm kind of terrified of what these later levels are gonna entail but I guess we'll find out. And yeah. The other guys are still here by the way. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> not by choice, mind you. <laughs> yeah, just check every nook and cranny. In a time that, in the interim between recording sessions, we actually got a Nintendo Direct. But yeah. by the time this video gets uploaded, that won't matter, because... I mean... Call it now. Next character revealed is going to be. Next character for Smash Bros. is going to be revealed is. Biff from Arms. <laughs> I mean, the. Uh, the... Yes, oh, the right. announcer is going to be our next playable character. When I. F I didn't think about that. That would, that would be pretty funny. Uh, when you said Biff, I thought of the character from, like, Deep Blob or something, for some reason. Um. But yeah, th this. This episode might actually go up sooner than you think, because uh, Returns is actually scheduled to come out this month. Um, and there's only three episodes ready, so this might... Um, maybe not by the end of this month, but it should come out sooner than you think. I never knew. I, I never knew. Persona 5 Royal is finally out. Yeah, and... North <laughs> America. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh... You can imagine I've been all, all, all on that. <laughs> yeah, he and, uh, Nick, another one of our friends, has been playing that a lot. Yep, and, yep. <laughs> don't, and don't worry, people who watch this, I'm not gonna spoil anything. Oh, you better not. <laughs> there is, yeah, you paid $60 or 12 more hours of content. 30 yeah. hours according to a game former, actually. Right. And speaking of Persona, uh, Jason's made me play, uh, Persona 4 Dancing. And, uh, <laughs> all can yeah, all, all, ca I, all camera though, he's not streaming us or anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cause, you only re you only re yeah, cause I figured he'd like it because music game, cause they're made by the same people who did the part of D.Va. Oh, I didn't know it was made by the same people. Well, it's, 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 it's they're both Sega. <laughs> huh. Well, I mean, I get that, but like... They probably, they probably have, they probably have the same, like, there's probably something yeah. going on about that, at least. Uh, oh, oh, okay, there was an, I was, I, I wouldn't be surprised, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if they're the same people, someone, you know? Mm. Well, I mean, Sega have, like, a bunch of different, uh, companies, uh, with them now, so. Well, actually, considering the Miku DLC. Oh, mm, I suppose. But I could just be, like, a serious crossover thing in general. Right. Good point. That'd be cool though. If they were. I. 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 
I, I may have probably I may probably just be done with conclusions when I said the Miku thing, but you know. Mm. Yeah, I, <laughs> I right now I don't have any plans to stream that. Um, I was like, yeah, he actually got the endless night collection, so he got all the dancing games because I convinced I managed to get the show him when it was on a really good sale. Yeah, the only, um, <laughs> I was I was exp I was uh, honestly expecting to play it a lot later than I actually did, but <laughs> Jason was like so adamant, <laughs> and um, I I didn't even really want to like stream myself playing it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and then I was just, okay, I guess I'll just show me playing it on Discord, like, I'm not actually gonna stream it on Twitch or anything, for now, I'm not, yeah, I'm, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything concrete, cause, like, opinions could change, but as of now, I don't have any plans to stream it. The only, if at this point, the only thing you do with stream would be the story mode for a reaction. Yeah. I would like to stream, uh... Project Eva Mega Mix. Whenever that decides to come out uh, for Western audiences. Yeah, he also. I'm. I'm also gonna say for this thing, you have no plan to doing three and five until you at least expo get exposed to the stories. Yeah, the only reason. Any reason oh God. Um. Oh. Well, in turn three, we can at least look at the movies, I guess. Yeah, I, I only I played four specifically because um, I actually know the story from the anime and all that. So. Right. And, um, what's it called? Yeah, and there's still a couple spin-offs, and all, it gets, well, the sort of spin-offs in the sense of the gameplay, anyways. Yeah. Because, like, every Persona game is canon. <laughs> Does that mean Blaze Blue, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle is canon? I, I, well, that's more, that's more Blaze Blue, so. Mm. That's in the Probably Blaze, that's more Blaze Blue than Blue. Persona. Hmm. Plus, also, I don't like to really think of, uh, even though, like, it's, I'll, I'll just say this, the Arc System Works team is not exactly the best with the story. <laughs> huh. I'm looking at oh, you, okay. old Max. You said everything's canon? It is canon, for better or worse, at points. They write the story, though, or is that just something they got from um, Atlas? For, 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 for arena for for cross tag that's that's in house that's uh that's uh, uh that's our system going storage. Well yeah cross tag but what about persona uh, persona for arena? The arena's first game yeah arena one yes that's that's Atlas arena two that's arc system. Hmm. That's also probably why it's not as good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ultimax is just an updated version not a sequel. It is a no. It is a sequel. It, it, the story does continue. The story does continue, and it has more characters and such. <laughs> it's not just a better game. Well, it is a better game. All right then. Let me put it like this. Also, the first, Arena One's roster is only thirteen characters. <laughs> hmm. Ultimax's, I believe, is double that if we're not even not including the shadow variants. Price of having to do hand drawn stuff. Oh, I love I love the sprite animation. <laughs> That's good, but you only can have so many characters without doing heavy asset reuse. Have um, I would like to point your attention to uh, I would like to point your attention to uh, into Central Fiction Extend. <laughs> <laughs> or rather, special. Yeah, um, <laughs> what is um? What was I gonna say? Oh, okay. is Blaze? <laughs> <laughs> right there. Good. Uh, yeah, Harry, okay? Yeah. Uh, okay. Anyways, what were you saying, Scrappy? Yeah, um, since Guilty Gear has long since moved past sprites into that pseudo 3D look, um, what is Blaze Blue gonna do for its next mainline game? I think it's gonna key with that because it's its own style. Okay, what's this? Um, hmm. and, uh, cause for a crop, for, cause, um, Guilty, well, ah. well, Guilty Gear well, now use is a, the Guilty, yeah, Guilty Gear now uses, um, models that are stylized to look like sprites. Hmm. Oh, I need that guy, crap. Um, um, Dragon Ball Fighters does the same thing. Lip movements for those games just look so odd. You mean the, ha ra 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 that? <laughs> It's not the best lip sync, at least not English lip sync. I don't, well, it's 
I well, I think I don't think it's intentionally being. I don't think it, I don't. I think it's just doing the Japanese lip thing. I can definitely tell that the that I can definitely tell that the, the Arc System Works team is more Japanese, if you will, in terms right. of how they do their. Run. Because you you know it's extremely awkward when I was playing um, Cross Tag Battle Story. What? Um, I don't know. If it, I don't know if they updated this at all in 2.0, right? But, um, you and everybody, you refer to everybody by their last name. Hmm. Like, he actually says Satanaka-san instead of Chie. That oh, goes against what Persona 4's localization did. Oh, okay. Just yeah, they, yeah the... everybody does them by their, by their, by their, well, I guess what we would call first names. Right. Um, but, um, what's it called? Um, the only exception to this, you actually still call it uh, Yosuke, uh, my, my name. Okay. I guess it's because of their bro- for their bromance. I suppose. It's really weird hearing, like, Tatsumi- Tatsumi-kun coming from out of- coming out of you's mouth. <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine- yeah, I'd imagine so. It is- it is incri- it, like, especially after, like, playing Persona 4 several times, and watching the anime several times. Mm-hmm. How no, many it's, times it's have even, you seen the anime, even, actually? No, it's also weird, he, well, like, I'm- I- hearing everybody call you Narukami is nothing new. Right. But it's like, it's weird, but- Well, like, it's weird hearing Yosuke even- or even say, like, Tatsumi. Right. It is just like Wait, how that's close a thing. are they? It's like how close are they? You know, right at this point. You can't <laughs> hide. If only Yosuke gets a first name basis. You can't hide from me, bonus. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect Donkey Kong talk to go into this. <laughs> yeah, I. I, <laughs> you I mean, bring up Persona, Don and <laughs> this guy will go on for hours. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't. I wish. No, but also, uh, I guess. I guess they get off story-wise. I guess, or like those kind of personal nitpicks. I kind of wish I was better at cross tag. <laughs> I I don't know if I want to like risk the biscuit here. Or I that doesn't seem like there's anything. I'm sorry. Check your inventory, Harry. Four and co. Ko. Doing again. I think he was... <laughs> but, uh, but, um, by the way, uh, Scrappy, how much of this on the fourth story do you know? I can squat. <laughs> okay, I won't talk about things because because there's. I told Harry to avoid watch looking at anything relating to cross tag battle in in, in, in late in late, recently because one of the characters is, is one of the characters they added to DLC is a major spoiler. Oh yeah. I know about Persona 4, ugh, Persona 4 stories that takes place in some largely harbor town. Hmm. Let's go with that. Yeah, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a town a in the boonies. It's a quiet little town that has a lot of murders involving TV. Um, it's and, a town in the boonies, uh, yeah. Hmm. And right. you and his gang of meddling kids are gonna have to solve a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. That's no, it. To quote, to quote something I saw once, I think it was, I think it was a review I saw once, the ha Persona 4, the happiest game about murders. Yeah, but pretty much. That's amazing. We really need to make yeah. Scrappy watch the anime as a, uh, a, a, a for one of these nights. Uh, maybe. Do you have any interest in watching TV anime? Because I think it's a pretty decent adaptation. Maybe. <clears throat> Well, what are you guys watching now, actually? Oh, uh, nothing. But you guys, well, you guys just finished um, something, didn't you? We just finished Love Live, yeah. And we, I think we're doing Ducktales next. I'm not sure. Okay. So, uh, the dun 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 dun. <laughs> the these uh, ruin stages really uh. Show, show specifically that these were the uh, Metroid Prime developers, because like, when I look at the Ruins uh, world specifically, it's just kind of, kind of reeks of that. Um, hmm. So that's kind of interesting. 
these levels must be a pain at doing time trials. Yeah, I... Oh, God. That's gonna Thank be... you for not suggesting the bees. You have no idea how many how many attempts those just worlds one and two took. Like, I'm not looking forward to these. Alright, timing. There's the G. The G! Oh crap. Okay. Still missing one. That, that, I think it's on the left. I hope so. Ah. Uh, why'd you do this? I hate this. Okay. Why would you do this? <laughs> okay. And then... Come on. Okay. That looks like a... Yeah, I was yeah, gonna say okay. that it has to be. Yeah. Considering how hard oh, it is up here, that has to be it. Yeah. Okay. That works. And cool 3D. Set Let's go! <laughs> yeah, 3D. Wherever they were really advertising Tropical Freeze's new innovation as being something like that back in E3 2013. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, it's uh, in Tropical Freeze. Oh, God. Okay, you get three chances. Oh, right. Then. Yeah, you get those chances and then you die after. Have to be careful. He's eating monkeys. Yeah. Okay, that might- okay, there we go. That's a cool level. Yeah. Do you know anything about Persona, like, in general, actually, Scrappy? A lot of... Japanese high school shenanigans. Yeah. Dealing with, <laughs> with the shadow of the soul. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's a very, it's very slice of lifey in how it, in even in the main games, because mm. like you gotta help everybody deal with their personal problems. Right. With depressed teenagers dealing with the nonsense of society, and this is supposed to be the light-hearted version of Shin Megami Tensei. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like how the sub series become more popular than the main series. Yeah. <laughs> and one fact, of. Actually, Actually, that's a good point, because in Persona 5, uh, as of Persona 5, they officially dropped the Shin Megami Tensei title. Hmm. Interesting. Because, because like, if you look at Persona 4, it still says, well, original Persona 4, anyway, it, sa it says, um, uh, Shin Megami Tensei Persona 4. Oh, crap. Huh. Not that that sub-series, excuse me, not that that series is ever that popular here. It's a ni it's niche. Hmm. Because there's a lot of heavily religious tones and all that as well. It's it's. I mean, don't even get me started. <laughs> don't even get me started because like it, it really is unfortunate because like in some of the games, I swear doing doing the the chaos path is, even, is a lot better than doing the wall stuff. <laughs> so we're back in world two. <laughs> <laughs> like, like uh, okay. no, I don't it. mean this. I don't. I don't mean this in any kind of like. I don't mean. I, mean, I say. I say this as. I say that as. I say this as an agnostic. As an agnostic person. Right. Shin Megami Tensei. Um, God is kind of a dick at points. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's great. <laughs> I've heard. Don't he? Don't he? Like I heard. I. I. <laughs> yeah. I. I don't know what it's like in the first. In the first three from Shin Megami Tensei's, but. <laughs> hmm. So. Best buddies, the uh, cannonballs are back. Oh, great, this again. <laughs> Hopefully, you don't have to. Huh? <laughs> um, do we don't. Yeah, we don't really need well, that. In this game, who knows? Um. Gonna... Okay, no, we don't need oh, okay, it. Okay, that's, that's a pretty good jump. Yeah, this, uh. <laughs> I'm just being cautious because you never know. Yeah, this game is like the definition of paranoia because uh, you never know what when items are gonna give you, um, like More. a puzzle piece or something. That's just a heart here, really. Okay, whatever. Into the ship we go. 
There's a lot more transitions I'm noticing in this game than in uh, Tropical Freeze. Yeah, I'm noticing that too, which is interesting. I do like this idea of a straightforward adventure, though. Oh, yeah. Like, this, this feels a lot more DKC1. Yeah, and I, I have, like, heard people kind of complain about that a little bit, where this game... DKC, DKC1? Um, kinda. More so the fact that, like, I've heard complaints that it feels a bit too safe. Um, and I can I mean... kinda see what they're going, what they're saying, but... Uh, when I, I don't know, when I see, when I play through levels like the Ruin stage we played earlier, and just the level design in this game in general, I just, uh, I can't really agree to that state statement that much. I can't really see, I, I, it's really more so safe in terms of most of the tropes. Yeah. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, otherwise it just does scream have its own originality. Like, I think it's, it's only really... DKC won to me in terms of going through DK Island again, like in that game, and uh, you're going through similar. Um, wow. Or, <laughs> yeah. All right then. Um, or, and just going through like the like so the some of the same world themes, and even then, uh, like the world themes themselves are like, like so drastically different, differently designed than the SNES game that I. Don't really care that much. I like how you crush the captain. Yeah. Oh god. So I'm gonna have to get up there somehow. Yeah, you have to turn. You have to like, get get back up. So that's all the because you can see the puzzle piece on your way in. Yeah. Okay, that's definitely that's I definitely a bonus. I'm gonna presume the people who said this game was too safe are hopefully not the same people who were complaining about the lack of Kremlings. Uh, well, that, well, that, that, well, the lack of Kremlings was Retro 1 tried their own thing, right? Yeah, I, from what I understand, um... Like, yeah, yeah, sorry, but, like, I think, I, wasn't it like they could use them if they wanted to? Yeah, because, like, the mi misconception is that, uh, they could... A misconception a lot of people had was that they couldn't use them, which isn't true at all. They, they could have used them if they wanted to, because Rare technically created these carrot like, Diddy Kong, and this version of Donkey Kong specifically, and the Kremlings, but they are technically still owned by Nintendo, so they could use them, but they wanted to make their own villains instead. Um, I which... think this is a bit more applaudable, to be honest. Yeah. But it, I, I can understand the complaint of, of ha not having them. Yeah, I, again, I, I like that... If they're going to make a grand return to Donkey Kong. Yeah. I mean, I, I get... Um... I like the Tiki's fun enough, like I said in like part one, but nothing. No one's gonna replace the Kremlings. Nope. I think I think the um, um the Snowmads were a were a cult, were were aim, did the aim are better than the Tiki's and the yeah they. Way. I mean the fact that like they actually uh, take over the island is like something. Yeah, yeah not... they're, they're 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 invaders is what they are. Yeah, not even Kate like the Kremlings have done that, so. Right, they're they're, inv they're 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 just flat out evading your island. They're take they're take oh. Okay, we're going to go back. Yep. I was gonna say I was gonna say where are you? <laughs> okay, we still need two more. Um. Yeah, the the uh, it's not going to be for a long time, but um, the I like that the factory, which I assume is supposed to like be Cramcrock Industries from the first game, is still on the island, and that's about as much uh, representation the Kremlings get, because the factory was made by the Kremlings specifically, and I like that even after all this time, the impact they made on the island s is still here. Yeah, it, you can't really get rid of an island. Uh, you can't, it, how are you supposed to get rid of a factory? Yeah! <laughs> Especially this guy. Oh. That was yeah, cool. Yeah, I, 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 oh, uh... I guess we missed. Wait. Nope. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? What am I missing? Well, this, well, that's it. Where is it? Uh. Oh, great. We need to get the. Oh gosh, I have to redo all, all of the collecting. Uh, we just need well, to no, get the energy. The, the I know where the G is, so that's fine. Um. 
Yeah, I don't know where this it's is. Where that last piece is. It's not over. You might have the stage again. Yeah, wait. Is it one of these cannons? Well, if it is, the only cannon you could have blasted was that middle one. Yeah. Uh, nope. I don't know. You already checked all three of these. Did I? Hmm. I don't know. I think it might have been at the start of level. Those are the worst ones. Yeah. I like how, like, compared to the two and three, you get, like, so many banana coins. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. The end. Wait, what? I got it. The end. Oh, no, I already got, got it. I got the end. I got the end. Oh. Oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm ass okay, so I'm assuming that this place doesn't have it. And this is like shake randomly around here and then it just shows up. Look look for look for look for a look for a slightly less red floorboard. <laughs> yeah. Like what well, what any anything can happen after that one level in World 2 where you have to shake a slightly glowing tree. Oh uh, uh, god. Okay. At least retro adhere to rare Overabundance of collectibles. Yeah. I don't Apparently like needed destroy that. this. Wait. There's three on this boat alone. Is there a barrel here somewhere? I don't know. I don't know, but there's been th but there's been three um color pieces on this boat oh. alone. Oh, wait. Wait. Probably. Oh, okay, 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 good. Okay. All right. Well okay. Then. That's fine. Yeah, there, okay, yeah, there's four puzzle pieces on this on this final boat alone. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. You yeah, know, we can just finish. This is all relatively close to each other. Yeah, at least, at least we don't have to pull out the uh, pull out squawks. Or the scrappy guy. <laughs> the thing is, uh, thing is with that is that that's only going to help us so much because again the. Well, I mean. It, it's like, it's it's only to the point if Squawk isn't really doing anything for us. Yeah, that would also the we'd also had to like. Squawks, it was just like it's, okay, it's here, but what am I looking for? Yeah, at least you have like some indication. Uh, the thing with like like a Scrappy Guide uh, would be that we don't know which one we're looking for specifically because they don't do that the same way Star Coins do. We're rolling in banana coins. Oh yeah. These are as superfluous as the moons in Odyssey. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Kinda. Only it doesn't have as fun of a jingle. <laughs> so like, that was a great story, Donald Kong. Yeah. Thanks, kid. Here, have a banana coin. Oh, let's go by, wait, wait, yeah. wait, should we go by the um, key now? Yeah, I was waiting for this because I like doing this in level You're order. Jason. Yeah, I was I was hoping for a funny sound. Alright, you were saying Scrappy? I couldn't hear you before, what'd you say? I don't even remember what I said. Okay, which one's this? I don't know. Level you hate, come on, fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm wing I think it's the forest world where that has the level with like a like spider chase spiders chasing you. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Per the termite level. Yeah. Camp yeah. dungeon. Like, this almost sounds like a really. This almost sounds like an uncomfortably. Oh wait a minute. This looks slightly familiar now. I swear I remember speed like trying it's to. A lot of wa oh, it's a lot of water. It's a lot of water puzzles. Looks like. I f yeah. I feel like I remember trying to do the time trial on this level and like hitting myself. I could be very cartoony looking shark. Oh yeah. It's Kenny. Oh wait, I needed that barrel crab. Uh that's a deep reference to Jason, I appreciate that. Well what? Deep re reference, I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you don't you you don't need uh you need to use uh, barrels for stuff a lot more in tropical freeze. Um but yeah, they kind of sneak up on you in this game sometimes. It doesn't happen often, though. We need to carry Diddy's bear all the way up there. <laughs> yeah. Let's get this nephew to some 
undisclosed location. Yeah. Sandbag? <laughs> I like how, um, was it DKC1? Uh, like, he was, Diddy was, like, guarding the banana holder's, like, hero training or something and got stuck into the, and that's why he got, we're not nice. Uh, <laughs> that's that's why he got stuck in the in the DK barrel in the first level, and that yeah, just yeah right yeah they showed that more in the GBA version yeah and that and then that just kind of became a thing. <laughs> Put him in a barrel. Yeah. Yeah yeah I like it how and I like it how because he also rolled and he had to try to cartwheel to a crusher. Oh yeah. It's like, you can't do that. It's like, you can't do that. I mean, it actually hurts you. Yeah. Man, I, I'm really hoping they, re re they release the Donkey Kong Country games on the SNES Online. Yeah, that would be really nice. Well, if anything, well, well yeah, A, so we, A, so, you know, anybody, can, more people can play the game. Mm -hmm. And B, and B, so, and B, I really just want to play the multiplayer with you. <laughs> It would also be nice to I'm, just. I'm curious about how that would go, you know. Yeah, that would be interesting. Okay, let me get this first. That would be a nice... But that, that would be a nice like re-recording or or like a nice just like separate thing we can do. Yeah, I don't know if we'd like record it, anything of that, but like that would be fun. That'd be a, that'd be a, that'd be a fun thing to stream, actually. Yeah, maybe. You said oh, you'd God. rather be Duck Kong. Um, I'd rather be Diddy. Oh. God, I'm sucking at this stage. Wait, yeah, for DKC1, you'd rather be Diddy and DK and, and you said you'd rather be for DKC1 and 2, and you'd rather be Kitty for 3? Yeah, I... I prefer the, um, faster characters in these games, so... Well, yeah, and, well, it's also... In, well, in DKC3, you also prefer the better role. Yeah, that's true. Um, because like, like that's why, well, like, because like Dixie, like, I'll have the easier platforming time, but you'll, but you'll probably, but you just, because like you, you hate that delay between Dixie's. I role, right? can't, I can't trust Dixie's role because I, I feel like it, it, it never works the way I want it to, and I, sometimes it just makes it, me take a hit when I don't mean to. Because it has, it feels like it has a weird startup. Yeah, like I just can't get used to it. Oh crap. I'm the exact same way with that. Sometimes I, I keep feeling like I'm not doing it right, but then I'm yeah. like, oh god. Yeah. Um, I... It's a thing with, like... Yeah, yeah I'll do Dixie. I'll do Dixie if we, if we do DK, if we do DK so two and three. Yeah, it's all down to Nintendo if they actually want to release it or not. You know, because, you know, they stopped re re releasing them, like, week monthly now. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, there, I Damn it! Yes. Oh my god, this hasn't even been a hard stage. <laughs> hasn't even been a hard stage so far. I'm just failing at life. <laughs> Actually, I forget. Um, like run just running through the games. Wait, okay, wait. When you're not doing secrets, which game, which DKC game do you like the most? Between the first three. The first three? Um, oh, why did you're I do that? You're not doing secrets. That for now. Uh. I've only played. Okay, let's all, hmm. okay. Um, to add to this, let's assume you can do the lost levels without. Aim. Let's assume you can do the lost levels even without secrets, right? Yeah, that's. In, I'm not sure because I've only actually played um, two and three to completion like twice. Um, yeah, and both of those. Two, one of those. Were, one of both of those was for for the recording for the channel. Yeah. Um. I I don't know. Was hey, there a zebra hiding in that area? That's... I think. No idea. Uh, I... The second time you did two was during a live stream, wasn't it? Um, the, no, the, the the live streams were just were just straight level runs. I didn't do completion runs. Uh. Um. I, I can't do DKC 2 and 3 without doing full runs. Yeah, that's the weird thing. I don't... I don't know. Well, it's because... One's not really designed around it. They're, they are there for completion, but the thing is, there's no incentive. Yeah. Just, just seeing the 101. I mean, maybe, if we're talking about just level ones, maybe two, but I always, I don't know. Because I, I, 
still really enjoy revisiting DKC1, even if, like, like, in hindsight, a lot of the level design is pretty simplistic in comparison to 2 and 3, but that's kind of why I like it so much, so I don't know. Part of me worries that last dark, that last coin is going to be a thing. Yeah, I can go back just in case. That, that last coin has to be a thing. I'm worried about this barrel, because I don't know if this is going to be used. Oh, crap. <laughs> I didn't think that would... Well, we're going to have to assume it's fine. Okay. That, that blow thing, though. Okay, well, at least we have a checkpoint. Oh, there's a gravity there. Let's see. Okay. Because, you know, rooms. Okay, <laughs> we just... <laughs> casually, oh, uh... God. Oh, God, this one can be kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. Oh, can I just say, like, um, the, like, <laughs> I love the, um, the Bonus Room Blitz remix they made in Ultimate. Yeah. M mixed with uh, Simeon Segway. Simeon Segway. Yeah. It's yeah. nice to get Donkey Kong Country 1 music that isn't Jungle Hijinks again. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah. Like, cause, like, when they, when they remix songs that aren't Jungle Hijinks or, like, DK Island Swing or whatever, um, it's amazing, like, um, uh, Bramble Blast from except Brawl. Huh? Except for Gear Getaway, apparently. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that one, but besides that... Smash Re- Oh god. Uh, oh god. Damn. Okay. Well, wait to see a couple years off my life there, Harry. <laughs> oh, well then. Okay. Um... The Exceptomaniac paid off. Yeah. What's check, all check these? Head. I was gonna say check up ahead to see what you need this barrel. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to this thing. I could kill the shark, but I don't wanna waste that. Do you remember a thing or it's to kill the shark? Ah. Could kill the shark, but I'm not an asshole. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Oh, yeah, there's two barrels that are probably the Oh, there, yep, yeah. yep. Oh. Okay. Well, I can be an asshole, Harry. Um, okay, I was worried it was gonna drop down. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. 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 <laughs> Alright. That's Sorry. definitely a thing! <laughs> <laughs> God. I didn't realize there were like so many bon bonus rooms compared to Tropical Freeze, because um, I don't remember there being as many in that game, but I could be wrong. Oh crap. That's, that's bad. Fuck. Okay, the problem with that is that if you fail a bonus game, you can't re you can't redo it unless you kill kill yourself, which is kind of dumb. <laughs> I don't know why they did it like that. A Nintendo hard challenge. You only get one try. Yeah, it's weird because the um. This only had a puzzle piece, right? That was the, that was the unlocked the path on the left. Right. I'm hoping I don't need that. You don't. Okay. Um. Because that. Oh, good. Ah! <laughs> nice. Uh huh. I. <laughs> I don't know why. Just you going good every time you die is funny. I, that's just kind of in my code. I don't know why I do that. <laughs> it's <just> great. <laughs> We don't need the barrel anymore. <laughs> Did. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, man. That was a good shot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no. Damn it. Dead. Yeah. Dang it, Deke. Dang it, DK. Why can't, why can't you swim in this game? There's sharks in there. You don't. This is true. You don't care about them in, in the next game. I got over my fear of sharks. <laughs> Ooh hee haw! <laughs> Sad ooh hee haw sounds intensify. I'm gonna go on top of the, of the political building you now. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why is that a thing? 
because Donkey Kong clearly is, is invested in Japan's in political scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Yeah, you just strolled them by. That's not fair. I don't even it. know if we're talking about you, Scrappy. Pardon? The, well, the, the Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong in, the, in the Japanese political thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have it's, no access. Uh, it's from, it from uh, Mario and Sonic at the, at the uh, 2020. Oh, 2020 biscuit. Damn it. Again. Okay, so what happened was, <laughs> uh, like, later in the, late in the story mode, hey, Luigi and Tails find in Donkey Kong who wants to take a view at the top of, the, of specifically, the Japanese political building. <laughs> Oh, like, Kong is really? always scaling buildings, that's his thing. <laughs> well, it, no, no, because like, Metal Sonic is in the way. <laughs> so I just want to see the view of the government building! <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's really... It's just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it just see Donkey Kong be like that, it's like, yeah. <laughs> Donkey Kong is just like the funniest character in the world for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> you know, I know. I, I they're probably not. They're probably not what they're going for. But it's funny regardless. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> what did David send me? Okay, let's uh, not fail this, please. I'm terrible at the this one specifically. Off topic, Xavier's playing a game called Murder by Numbers. <laughs> Which apparently is a journey with Pit Cross. Okay. There we uh, go. Yay, now we can get the hell out of here. Yeah. All star, that... gosh darn puzzle piece. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, that, that's my, that's the word. Th those. Building. Those are my least favorite ones, I suck at those. Because the timing is so fast. Yeah. Okay. And giant sharky. It's a big boy! Aid me! <laughs> he fit! In all fairness, all the sharks are pretty thick looking. Yeah. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Big shark, like, ooh, boy. <laughs> hmm. Okay. No, I just posted this quip in uh in in the in the chat. I was just like so drunk, I'm just trying to find going, ooh, boy. <laughs> Wait, is this the level? This ain't the level, is it? The bitty um, biters. I bitty bitty biters. This can't be, because I swear it's in the forest. Maybe there's a different kind of- maybe it's something similar. Hmm. Always oh, gotta check the left. <laughs> God, yeah, I don't- I didn't remember there being so many of these things. Yeah, this is really- yeah, this, yeah it's really- it's more, it's more DKSA1- CK1 the more I think about it. Hmm. Like most, most of most of DKC one secrets were all in growing things. Yeah. <laughs> if there's one thing I like about the returns duology is that um, I actually really can, I I really do enjoy the the co the oh, Kong letters and the puzzle pieces for just giving you more of a reason to explore the levels. Cause there's, I don't know, there's a lot oh, wait, more- I think the biter turret is extra enemies. Hmm. Cause there was one even hiding in the eye. Yeah, I saw that too. Um. Yeah, oh, yeah, see they're all over the place. Look hmm. up there. And there. They're hiding in the environment. Yeah. Oh, it's playing uh, the ruins theme. Oh god. There they are. Some ugly sons of guns. Yeah. But yeah, I think uh, what in two and three they usually had like what two or three uh, crumb coins in a level. Um. 
Can you verify that? I don't remember. Uh, two or three. Hmm. For, for, yeah, for the crown coin. For the, for the crown coin. Yeah. And I guess you could... I guess you could argue the amount of collectibles in these... In these games may be a bit too much for some people, but... I don't know, I like them. Ow. Okay. Damn it. Woo! No! Okay. Right. Wall re wall knockback. Or, or recoil. Yeah, you gotta be careful about that. Um, also on another unrelated topic of things that have been happening. Uh, Harry finally finished all ma the first 10 Mega Man games. Oh yeah, that- yeah. Um, I've- I'm gonna try getting to 11 at some point. You, um, you do own it, right? Yeah, I own the game, and I own the X collections, so... I think, I think I just like 11. Hmm. Take, take me and Hub's word for it. Are you uh, Mega Man in base first? I've already no. played that. I've already played that. <laughs> oh. I, I don't need- I don't- I don't need to play it. <laughs> uh, I honestly think you should at some point. Wait, did you play a GBA version or a ROM of the of the? Uh, play the SNES version. Don't even f don't even think about playing the GBA nah, one. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, um, I was like, yeah, honestly, I f I feel like the Robot Masters were the hardest part. Like the level. Don't get me Burner wrong. Man. Yeah. Mm -mm. Burner, sorry. I I the hardest one for me I think was Astro Man actually. Um, what are they making him up with Mega Man 8? Huh? Did he have a, actually, does he have a completely different pattern for Mega Man 8? Yeah, I don't remember what he's like in 8, but he's like, really hard and, like, the Robot Masters were, are like, extremely difficult in, in Mega Man and Base. Um, but besides that though, um, I, I was, ex I was honestly expecting the game to be like, ridiculously hard with like crazy precise platforming and don't or, get me... or do or do or, do or dies yeah and don't get me get get me wrong it's not an, it's not a simple game and it's not easy or anything it's still hard but it's nowhere near this ball bustingly difficult game that everyone proclaims it as like i have a, i had a much easier time with it than say like lost levels or zelda 2 for instance so i, I don't it's not a <laughs> That is not really a glowing recommendation. It's well, I guess, but like I, I didn't really. I, if I'm gonna be honest, I had a harder time playing like some of the other Mega Man games, like Seven or like Frey or whatever. So I don't. I, oh, I, love, I love Seven. Yes. Yeah. So it's honestly, I don't. I didn't really see much of a difference between those games and base. So I. 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 I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> what would you say hey, your favorite? Played. My favorite game overall. Yeah. Um. Is it a little, or is it a little hard to say because you've only played them once? I mean, I. Okay, these enemies are a bit weird. Uh, like you have to like. You have to lead them back, and then. They do that. There. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's really weird. <laughs> um, but I. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm tempted to say four, but I don't know. One thing I'll give up this game is um, it it has a nice variety of enemies. Yeah, it does. Like, like as much as like I do like the constant threat of the Snowmads in in Triangle Bridge because that's what gave them enough of a Kremlin vibe. Yeah. But um, here there's hardly the same. There's hardly ever the same enemy. Yeah, I can agree with that. There's a good amount of variety. The keys are the keys feel more like other feels more like more enemies. Yeah, because they hypnotize most of the DK Islands. It's a wildlife. I don't even know what's up with these guys. Yeah, I mean, I oh god. Don't don't, don't count them. Yeah, because I see you have to blow out the torches or the candles yep. rather. All right, just wait it out. There's a, there's a thing on the top left over there. 
Yeah. Okay, what's this? Is it just gonna? Yeah. Look out. Uh. Cool. Well done. Okay, we need one more. And hopefully, we're not at the end of the stage. Oh right, this. Uh. Yeah, I. Oh, I'm gonna have to play Mega Man 11 before I like come to a like an actual conclusion of like where I rank the classics specifically. But um, I uh, I think Hub puts 11 as one of the top three. Hmm. This is a gauntlet room, if I recall. Uh. Um. Right I, now. I, Go ahead, right now, um, I, 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 I feel like I want to put four, three, and seven as my favorites. Um, four, three, and seven. Um, in no particular order. <laughs> three, and, three, and seven can be argued. Um, seven, nine, and seven, nine, and eleven. Okay. I'm not sure where I'd put 9 and 10, um, because I enjoyed 10 a lot for the most part, but there are some levels that just kind of annoyed the crap out of me. <laughs> um, um, opinions will change on the kid one. That's true. Truck, um, Mega Man is, is, a, is a series is a, that is better played on the second go. Uh, yeah. Go on it. Go oh. on it. Oh, okay. Sure. Um, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, have you have you played one two? Have you played any? You play? Have you played? You played one and two before you started playing the series. The whole. How, what, actually, what, before you started playing all the games, which ones have you played before? Um. Well, I remember pl trying to play through uh, Mega Man One through this like NES emulator, and. That <laughs> never really went too well, um, so I didn't really, I didn't really play the series proper until I pl got one, two, and three on the Wii U. Um, played through those, and then just had like a massive break until I got the collections on the Switch. 